You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you but I know my brother is a lucky man. Uh, you know, they say luck is just when hard work meets opportunity. And I think we can all agree Carl is one of the hardest workers that we all know. And then Peyton, you're the obviously the best opportunity he's ever had. Uh, you look amazing tonight. I'm speechless, staring at you, standing there in that dress. What it's doing to me ain't a secret. Cause watching you is all. Peyton, today is the day that will forever be ours, August 6th. It will be a day we cherish and celebrate for years to come. I'm truly blessed to have you in my life and even more. Now to claim my life. You are the greatest man with the purest heart, and I cannot wait to finally be able to call you my husband. I'm patiently waiting to see you. I know you'll be looking handsome as ever in your white coat, soaking every second of this special day with you, hand in hand, by my side, and for the rest of our lives. Love you the most, as XOXO Peyton. Wow! <laughs> Beautiful! Thank you. Wow! Don't want to mess it up. Beautiful gown. I haven't seen it. Thank you. Wow. You look beautiful. Thank you. I'm speechless. You're standing there in that dress. Girl, it ain't a secret. I love you. Watching you is all I can do. Love you. Thank you for everything. I'm speechless. You already know that you're my weakness. You are so yeah, are you? You ready? Yeah, are you? <laughs> Woo. You look so handsome. You look beautiful. Look at you. You are so easy to love. Always push me to be my best. Believe in me, even when I don't myself. And are always cheering for me. Today, you are making me the luckiest man on earth to marry you. I love you more than you will ever know. Now, come on. Let's go get married. Love, see you. Ever since the day that we met. I, Carl Edward. I, Carl Edward. Take you, Peyton. Take you, Peyton. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Peyton, take you, Carl Edward, to be my husband. I, Peyton, take you, Carl Edward, to be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. And in plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Carl Edward and Peyton have made their solemn vows to each other. Therefore, I now proclaim that they are husband and wife. And now forevermore, with those words that rhyme with row tide, you may kiss the bride. You already know that you're my weakness. After all this time, I'm just as nervous. Every time you we both met Carl at our favorite place at Innisfree one night. We're at the bar and there's a couple guys that are 
trying to buy us a drink at Company Carl, right here. He's like, hey, well, I've got a tab, just get y'all some drinks. So very low key, just like, hey, I'm here, do your own thing. Carl sold Miller Lite, and I filled up his tab with Bud Light. <laughs> it was a couple months after that that I really started loving Carl. This is, this is her guy. He's her person. It knows no end. Hey, Carl and Peyton, I love you guys to death. Peyton, I know I don't know you. Haven't known you that long, but I know that you're great for Carl, and I've known Carl a long time. And I uh, just wanted to say I'm happy for you too. I wish the best for you, and I cannot wait to experience and grow with you guys as the years go on. It's been a treat and a pleasure to be a part of this wedding with you guys. Thank you, and best of luck. for this tonight, flowers, food, and I've been planning for this going back maybe 25 years when Peyton was a little girl. You kind of wonder when you look at your child, what's she going to grow up, what's she going to become? She's going to go to college, who's she going to marry? Well, he's right there. He's right there. We're very proud of Peyton. It, it took me five minutes to get to know Carl's parents, and I knew exactly how he was raised, and that's a compliment to them. We are so pleased that she's going to be a part of this family. I think I met Peyton with Carl, and I walked. She's like, "This is the guy I'm talking to." And I thought, "Damn, he looks like Colin Farrell." Witnessing Peyton with Carl is she's so comfortable with him. Her looking at Carl was just her face just lit up when he was there to pick her up. And you could tell she's like, "I'm at home." 